And welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here. This is the continuation of our Subnautica Below Zero Chronicle. And in this episode, I think we're going to fabricate some things. I'm going to go through uh, the list of stuff that we can do. I kind of have a feeling there's some things there I've forgotten about, and we need to play catch up. So that is the plan. Um, I need to mute Mike because I want to get a drink. Stand by. Okay. Timer is started. Let's grab my spiral plant. I went out and got a bunch of water to replenish this locker some. And uh, got some food also. And I planted a spiral plant, a ribbon in here so we can start growing those. Uh, I need a ruby. Okay, now we can make this. The thing is, I don't remember what I needed it for, so I'm going to make it. And then I am going to go to our blueprints. And I'm just going to kind of scan through each area here. I don't need this penned anymore. We can make an ion battery and an ion power cell. I don't need either of those. Uh, talking about the parallel processing unit and the test module. Spicy fruit salad. A, a surprisingly delicious salad with warming effects. Takes Preston's plant leaf and fevered pepper. Okay. What I wonder what the the food value is cuz that might be worth fabricating. And then we can make purification tablets that we can add to snowball. Okay. I don't know what to do with the thermos receptacle for beverages. I I don't know how to fill it up though or use it. Okay. Um there was the cold suit, but we don't have any fox fur or uh, snow stalker fur. But we can make this. It would take an ion battery, a glass, and a titanium. So how do I make an ion battery? Ion cube, gold, silver, ore, and lithium. Gold, silver, ore, and lithium. Gold, silver, ore, and... Uh, lithium and one ion cube there we go glass and titanium fabricated give me one glass Give me one titanium. The headlamp comes with advanced weather resistance strap that can withstand volcanic heat or an ice age blizzard. A perpetual, hands free light source in even the darkest environments. Nice. Okay, so. We would have to sacrifice the rebreather. I don't see myself using this very much. I have a flashlight that I can use. Hmm. All right. What else do we have? We got the Pathfinder tool. I don't feel like I need it. We could make a spy pingling, but well, maybe we should and we can put it into the truck, the C truck. Do we have anything else here? Uh, no. So we're gonna need a battery, two titanium, a wiring kit and silicon rubber. 
That sound is our shark outside eating things. I have seriously considered killing him. I, I haven't decided, do I... Do I want... I'm, remember I told you guys I'm not a pet person. <laughs> so... I don't know what I want to do there yet. But don't be surprised if we show up in an episode and, and he's... You just suddenly it dawns on you, hey, I haven't seen that shark in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might have done something. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, we need silicon rubber. And um, I'll make more. There we go. All right, now I forgot already. What what is it that I'm building? Pingling. So I need a wiring kit. Two silver ore. Two titanium and a battery. Without spy penglings, scientists Achievement may have unlocked. discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Might as well get this too. nice when you have a lot of storage where you can just grab stuff when you need it. Alright, let's go place this stuff. Um... Safety and miscellaneous. Maybe I'll store the headlamp there. No, it's not a battery, though. I'll store it here. Okay. Where'd my music go? We were grooving. Okay. Um, my bad. This. Okay, so... Sea Glide... And, uh, I don't think I need a Quantum Locker. Uh, two of three on the Snow Fox. I might make this just for S and G's eventually. For the funsies. Might want to start getting into making some of this stuff. I guess we can make it now. Let's let's bypass it, because titanium is sort of the limiting factor on me right now. Thermoblade. Let's see what else we can make first. I don't really need a camera. I don't use it. Um, I don't really feel like I need a large room yet. Nothing. 
nothing there. Nothing there. What did I need that advanced material for? It must have been something over here. Synthetic fibers. This is it. Okay. So I'm going to need two rubies and an enameled glass. Was that it? Yeah, plus the depth module that's... Okay, so we need to retrieve the depth module. We're going to make a Mark II depth module. Uh, this guy. Two rubies. Gosh, what, what else? The synthetic fibers. Enameled glass. I don't suppose I've already got that, do I? No. Uh, up here. Lead and diamond. Diamond. Lead. Glass. This song sounds like something that could have fit right in in the 80s. It's funny how everything kind of seems to run on a loop over a period of time, usually skipping a generation. Okay. Six hundred and fifty meter crush depth. That's pretty nice. All right, anything else on there that we should be taking a look at? Mark three takes nickel ore, kyanite, and plastil ingot. Okay, we haven't found kyanite yet. Prawn suit depth module also requires kyanite. We made this, we made this. Okay. No ultra glide fins, huh? Okay. Let's uh let's take a, another gander at the drill arm for the uh the prawn suit. Five titanium, a lithium, and four diamond. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four diamonds. One lithium. Okay, where do I go to make that? Upgrades. Thermal reactor. Oh, we still need a Mark I depth module. Okay. Well, we'll make this. And I need enameled glass, three rubies, and synthetic fibers. Okay, so again, for the enameled glass, I'm going to need lead, diamond, and glass. Here's glass. Lead. Diamond. And for synthetic fibers, I will need uh, ruby and spiral plant clipping. Ruby, is my spiral plant up yet? It seems like it is. Nope. 
Nope, it's at 86%. I am strongly considering... You are eating on Grim. Sixty percent. Oh, that's a problem. You were eating on Grim. <laughs> Where are you at, dog? Fast. Wow, look at how quick he is. Oh, you're eat the monkeys also. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're too dangerous. We're going to have to put you down. Okay, got him. All right, that's it. That's uh, another problem gone. There's a rock, a rock smasher over here that I killed also. He sits over here somewhere. Oh, I, pu I pushed him off the ravine. That's right. <laughs> He's going to float to the bottom. Okay, good. That cleanup taken care of. Uh, that was easy. Easy. Simple solutions for simple problems. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how's that synthetic fiber plant looking now? I don't know how fast, how fast they really grow. 99%. Hundred. Yeah, not quite though. It's lying to me. Oh, well, it's full, but... Oh, do I do this? Uh, better save it. One. Two. Okay, so we got to plant one. Yeah, that was a mistake. So it does... I need one, too. So this is going to take a while. Um, I might need to go... Actually, just farm some ribbons and come over and plant them all at once. Um, we need this. Okay. Upgrades. I need three rubies. Oh, I've only got two. Oh, what a... <laughs> we are stopped. Let's go refill with uh, diamonds and uh, give me some gold. Actually, we were good on gold. There are one row of each. That'll work. Uh... Let's rename this silver. This one will be diamonds. And I guess this will be rubies. Okay, so the silver. Uh, that's rubies. Where's my diamonds at? No, this is diamonds. Yeah. Put all this stuff back. There we go. Okay, gold, silver, 
diamonds and rubies. Sounds like uh, the first line to a song. Overflow. What kind of stuff is in overflow? Nothing right now. Okay, precious metals, heavy metals. That's my compilation lockers. Fabricated, titanium, copper, organics, quartz, lead, lithium, two lockers of copper. Are they both full? No. Okay. Well, we need one more ruby. I guess I, I kind of do know where to get them. Let's go over here to miscellaneous. Where's that at? Um, yeah. No, go to overflow and store this, this, and this for right now. Okay. How are we looking on water? Not too good. Okay, we could use some food also. There's one food. Two food. Three food. Really, I don't even need to be doing this anymore. I've got the uh I've got the pepper plants up top. One water. The whole problem with them is that they don't last very long. But they're they're excellent for right here. Um, topping off on health and water before before going out on a mission. That's not as good as what Marguerite gave me, I don't think. All right. Okay, so give me this. Well, like... Yeah, 1412, that's... I'm a little surprised by that. I don't know what to... No. You have one more fruit there that I want. Use planter. Maybe it's not fully matured. Well, huh. Not sure what to say about that. Let's go get rubies and look at the uh, Mercury 2 bow. We got six and a half minutes left. No, nah, no, nah, don't do that. Hold on, hold on. I messed everything up. I need to attach my compartments. So the rubies were over by the uh, the vent garden. I'd like to get back to there. We now have a 650 meter crush depth.
This is cool that you have the exterior weather penetrates to a shallow depth, so that's why you see the, the hail coming into the ocean there. I think that's pretty neat. Okay, Mercury 2 is over there, so I think the vent garden is this way. Got a pretty quick recharge, the afterburner does. Level out at about 400 meters. Oh, wow, this is uh, super deep here. I don't know about that. Attempts to find the vent garden again. I'm a little bit worried I'll end up wandering into another zone where we will find stuff that we're not supposed to find yet or run into creatures that I don't want to um, spoiler myself on at the moment. Okay, squid. Aha, there we go. Okay. I kind of thought we might be in the general vicinity. I didn't think we should go off that shelf. That looked really exceedingly deep. Okay. So... Get out here. We have uh, 222 seconds now of oxygen. That's nice. I think I should go ahead and pick up all the rubies that I can. I'm good on the, the sulfur crystal. I think I've got enough of that. Considering we're not even really using it yet. Look at this. I didn't see this before. Lithium. More lithium. 156 seconds of O2 left. I don't see any more rubies. What do we got here? Diamond, special equipment required. Okay. Good to know. Oh, 
I still, I don't know how I would get Grim down here and back up. Not having that grappling hook makes, makes me very nervous, even though his jet propulsion seems to be better. A lot better than uh, the first Subnautica. All right, had plenty of uh, O2. Timer just went off, by the way. So we'll get in the sea truck and save it. And I'll store that stuff into the sea truck, but we're not gonna go back to base yet because what I needed, oh. What I needed it for is for a module for Grim, and he's really been of extreme secondary importance on this playthrough, even more so than my first Subnautica playthrough. Okay, let's store all this stuff. So from what I'm saying is that from here, we're going to go ahead and go to Mercury 2 in the next episode. I suppose... Um, the one other thing I'll do off screen is I'll go collect spiral plants, uh, spiral plant ribbons to come back and plant. There we go. Okay. So I'll save it here and uh, we're all done with this episode. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thanks for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. And if you, uh, if you did, or if you want to help the channel, leave a like and or a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, stay shiny.